So today we're going to see how we take a photo and we make it black and white with some color. And then we're going to play around and modify those colors a little bit. So I'm going to use Pixlr and I'm going to use layers. So what you do is you go into Pixlr, Pixlr.com, Pixlr Editor, and then you pick the photo that you're looking for. And you can either create it new, open it from the computer, URL, however you want to do it. Now, I'm going to just open it from the computer. I already picked out the photo I'm going to do, and I put it in a Pixlr folder. So it's just going to open there, just like that. And now we're just going to look at this one. This is the very same photo. I just rotated a little bit, cropped a couple of things. So we're going to go, and we're going to zoom in a bit. And what you do in order to get the color is that what you plan what you're going to do eventually is you're going to do this hue and saturation you're going to bring the saturation all the way down we're not going to do that right now cuz we haven't made our layer yet but so so what you want to do is you want to use the magic wand tool and it's going to set the tolerance at 21 and what that means is that you've got 21 shades brighter and 21 shades less than the shade that you're looking for so like the pink or the brown or whatever you're looking for so we're gonna do pink and then you're gonna hold the shift key and you're gonna click on some more and because it's such a high tolerance it's gonna pick a lot of the pink and so what you do after you get what you're looking for, you go Control C, Control V, and look, that's going to give you another set, and that's your new layer, layer four. And you come and you put that on top of what you're looking for, and then you go back to background, and you go hue and saturation, and you bring down your saturation. All right, and that's how you end up with black and white with a splash of color and so I specifically picked out a couple of pieces of candy I've already done it and now we're going to play with photo editing those uh, we're gonna play with the color on those a little bit because getting into this is a little uh, this was a little time consuming because the pink was pretty close to the white so I had to move down the tolerance level so I didn't end up doing all of the candies I just wanted to do a few candies so we're gonna make that go away and now I've got this one right here and if I do the same thing I do uh, adjustment hue and saturation and we bring down the saturation see I've picked a few pieces of candy to play with so now I pick the layer that I'm looking for and now we go into you use the brush tool and go into color and then you pick what you're looking for and I'm gonna do some blue purple candy sort of and I'm gonna hit OK and then basically you color in your candy and all you have to do you don't have to worry about missing out of the lines or anything like that because it's only gonna color in the layer that you're working on so you do the same thing, and I'm going to do some green, some light green mint sort of looking candy. And color that in. And there we are. So now we've got three different colors of candy in this black and white photo. Maybe not the most appealing looking coconut ice, but I think you get the idea. So this is how you play around with layers on Pixlr, and you can do a number of things, and then when you're done, um, you know, I'm playing with the size, um, so then you go to save it, and you can just save it however you want on your computer, your Pixlr, your your Flickr, Picasso, whatever your interest is. So I'm going to save that um, as 
candy colors on the JPEG for the computer. And I'm going to save it on my desktop because this is going to go straight to the blog. All right. And that was it.